Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I am back here with another beginner calisthenics ab workout for you that was done by Nock, who you've seen on my channel multiple times. And the first exercise she is going to be doing is just a standard plank. And you wanna do this as long as you possibly can. So she is going absolutely full out and doing it until she can no longer do it, which is for a minute and 22 seconds. And make sure when you're doing this that your abs are fully engaged and your legs and your bum as well, which is also known as your glutes. And just push through the pain as much as you can because your mind is gonna want you to quit way sooner than you would actually need to. So push through any mental barriers that are going on for you and really push yourself to the limit. Because the further you push yourself with this, the more you're gonna be tearing the muscle fibers so when you're resting and recovering, you will then maximize the growth of your ab muscles. And with each exercise, you wanna be resting around 60 seconds and there is gonna be six different exercises. And we're just showing you one round. So each exercise you're gonna see, but what you wanna do is when you get to the end of all of the six total exercises, do this for at least another three rounds to get the greatest benefits from this ab workout. And Nock is finding this challenging. I'm not making the exercises too easy because if they're too easy, then she's not gonna tear the muscle fibers as much as possible, they're not grow as much as possible and she's not gonna increase the strength as much as possible. And make sure, like Nock just showed you then, that you are using a phone with a timer so you can time your rest intervals. And what it says, each time you go to do this ab routine, which I would recommend doing it around one to two times a week, try and increase the duration of the first plank exercise that she showed you. And she's looking really beautiful here, and really good on camera. And I'm explaining to her how to do each exercise. You want to make sure that you master the form of each different exercise and you're using your abs as much as possible. Now she's doing what I would call a side plank with a twist under. And you can see her very clearly demonstrating it now. So you put one foot on top of each other, be on your side, have one of your arms down like she has, stacked straight. Don't have it at like a wonky angle. Have your shoulder and your elbow completely stacked above each other straight. And twist under as much as you can. What I'd recommend, something that she's not doing, is when you're twisting, you can twist down even further by slightly turning your head down as well. So try and reach around as much as you can. And go a bit slower because she's going quite fast. The slower that you go with each rep, the more intense it is going to be. So then you get greater gains from this. And a slight mistake that she's done here, she should actually have her hips, which I'm trying to tell her now, which she goes to correct more off the ground. So you want your body to be in a complete straight line. Obviously you don't have your hips on the floor whatsoever. And with your bum as well, try not stick it out. Try and keep it fully engaged because what Nock tends to do, I've seen this quite a few times, she ends up sticking her bum out a bit further than she needs to. So make sure that you're just being as mindful as you can and try and do this with perfect form. And as you can see, her hips are dropping down a bit. You actually want your hips up further than the abs are more engaged and you're just gonna get better gains from this exercise when correcting it in the way that I've mentioned. And make sure between each exercise, you are doing some deep breathing to really flood the body with an abundance of oxygen. So then you're just gonna get the greatest workout possible because what a lot of people do when they're working out, they hold their breath and that is really not good whatsoever. It's actually gonna reduce your strength and not give you the best workout that you possibly can. And if you're someone that wants to get some additional fat burning benefits, you could do jumping jacks in between each exercise so instead of just sitting there and resting you could do jumping jacks in between which i've done in some ab workout videos before so if you're someone that wants to maximize the weight loss benefits that you can get from this workout then you can do that and if you're someone that's finding it too easy you could do more reps or if you're doing something like the plank hold it for longer 
and things where you have got reps slow down the motion of each rep which will make it more challenging and you can even in reduce the rest interval and now she is doing leg lifts which a lot of people are aware of this so with leg lifts have your hand placement and your arm placement like she has and come all the way down with your legs but do not let your feet or legs touch the floor whatsoever you want what is known as time under tension. So you never wanna be resting the muscles whatsoever by putting your feet or legs on the floor. So hover them directly off of the floor, just by a very small amount. You would just want a very small gap underneath. And when she was coming up, her legs weren't going completely vertical because her hip flexors are quite tight. She doesn't have the best flexibility and mobility at all. But try and get them up as high as you can in the air because the higher that you get them up and the more vertical, it's just more of the perfect form and it's gonna give you the greatest benefits from that exercise as well. And with that one, she did 12 reps in total. And also forgot to mention with the side plank, you wanna be doing 12 reps on each side in case anyone's wondering how many reps you are meant to be doing. Sorry, I didn't mention that any sooner. And as you can see, she's in a deep, type of meditative state, really focusing upon her breath to flood the body with as much oxygen as possible. She's paying attention to her timer as well, so she knows when to do the next exercise and she's asking me what to do. And she did really well with this. I told her what he was gonna do and I was trying to film her at the same time and instruct her how to do each exercise. So now she's gonna be doing bicycles. And with the bicycles, you wanna do 12 reps in total, 12 on each side. And she gets a bit confused with this sometimes, and I've had this with other people. So with bicycles, you lay on your back like she is now, and you go and twist to one side. This works on the obliques very, very well. And you bring one elbow over to one knee. And when she's putting her leg out, she's having a little rest because she's actually finding this quite intense. She could do it if you want, but only rest as short as she possibly can. She gets quite confused with this. So when she's putting one leg out, it should go completely straight out. She does it sometimes and then she's not doing it the other times, but just do the best that you can do. If you've got really tight ham hamstrings, you're gonna find it hard to make your legs go straight out. And yeah, she's finding this a right challenge as you can see by her face then. But yeah, just do the best that you can do. She's doing the best that she can do. But just always be mindful of your form as much as possible. And if you haven't got someone to check your form, you could either record yourself, check your form, or you could do it in front of a full length mirror. But with any exercise you're doing, with body weight training, or what is known as calisthenics, you want to be able to be aware as much as you possibly can to do the form as correctly as possible. Because a lot of people, do ab exercises and they say it's not hurting the abs that, that much when they're doing them or the day after or so they've done the ab workout to say it's not hurting their muscles loads and loads and loads where the muscle fibers have not been teared as much as possible. So then they have actual inflammation and then they're growing and then they ache. And I find time and time again, it's because people are not fully engaging the abs and doing it with perfect form. And now she's doing lying knee raises which a lot of people are aware of hanging knee raises, but that is very intense for a lot of people to do. So with this one, bring your knees as close as you can towards your chest, and you could even lift your bum up a bit, but get your abs to do it. So if you can bring it up even higher towards your chest and towards your head, it's gonna hurt you more. And when your legs go out, hover them over the ground and make them go completely flat like she is. She could actually be putting her feet and legs down lower. But yeah, she's just doing the best she can do. And as you can see, she's pushing through the pain. She isn't quitting. I know she does want to give up, but she's being a true warrior and just making it happen. And with that one, you also want to be doing 12 reps. But like I said, with any of these exercises, if you find them too easy, slow down each rep that you're doing. Do it in perfect form. And you could also do more reps as well, if necessary. So depending on where you're at, you can either make it easier or harder in the ways that I've just mentioned multiple times throughout the video how you can make them harder because the way she's doing it is pretty much the easiest ways you can do them so give this workout a go if you find it's too easy then make the changes that I have mentioned 
And this is the type of workouts that I did on my own journey with transforming my body and gaining around 10 kilos of muscle. If you've not seen my one year transformation video where I went from very skinny, weak and frail to ripped, what I do is I put a link for the video up above now and you can go and check that out. I recommend that you do go and check it out if you want some inspiration and motivation. And now we're on to the last exercise, which is planks side to side as I call them. And you wanna be doing 12 of these. So you get in the standard plank position and then you're twisting your abs and your hips and your bum to the side as much as you possibly can. Do not rest your hips on the floor or legs whatsoever that is cheating. You want the complete time under tension. And this is a really great oblique exercise. And the reason why I've chosen the exercises that I have is given, well, it's giving you a great range of ab exercises to really target all of the oblique muscles and the ab muscles as well. And as you can see, our glutes are looking very nice. <laughs> That's very appealing. So yeah, just do the best that you can do. And she's pretty much coming to the end now. She's finding it a bit difficult. Keep your feet together. She's spreading her feet apart a bit, especially at the heels. So yeah, that's it for this video. Any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to share. I went to say subscribe then share. And don't forget to subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis on topics such as calisthenics and also weight loss and various other things. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.